Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning to each and to every one of you. So good to see you this morning. So good to be back with you, y'all. Come on in. Come on in. We're going to have another beautiful time together on this morning. Y'all, come on. I see you. Yes, I see you coming. Come on in. Come on in. We're going to have a great time today for this is another day. Another day that God has blessed us with. He chose you and he chose me that on today that you and I, that we would be coming together, doing life together today, that we would be connecting together. But more importantly today, we are connecting with Christ. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on in. We're going to have a beautiful time on this morning. Well, I am Reverend Davis, executive pastor here at First Baptist Church, South Hill. Our senior pastor is Pastor Michael R. Tolliver. We're located right here in the beautiful city of Chesapeake, Virginia. This morning, we are so grateful and thankful that we have this wonderful opportunity of connecting, connecting with you. Y'all come on in. We're going to have a beautiful time on this morning. On yesterday, we were just blessed with plain and simple. And indeed, Jesus was humble, plain and simple. And he mingled with the plain and the simple. And we are as Christians to do likewise. But here it is. Here it is. Our devotion today, December the 7th, just shares with us of our inheritance. Hallelujah. Come on, let's just thank God for our inheritance right now. Let's give him praise. I see you. Yeah, come on. Come on in. We're going to have a beautiful time on this morning. Our devotion today is written by Isabella Yosuko. Let's dive in. Here we are. Well, this is one of the earliest prophecies of Jesus. Isabella chose it because it mentions Isaac, which means laughter, who is just like her youngest son named Isaac, who brings much laughter. Earlier in the verse, the very thought of Abraham and his postmenopausal wife, Sarah, having a baby made them both laugh. <laughs> Yet through this very unlikely scenario, God foreshadowed another singularly far-fetched situation that produced Jesus as the promised everlasting covenant for Isaac's descendants, God's people, the Israelites. Hundreds of years later, Paul wrote in Romans 9 verses 7 and 8, but they adopted Gentile children of the promise, you and me, and now regarded as Isaac's descendants, a.k.a. God's people. In Christ, we are truly God's sons and daughters with a spiritual lineage dating back to Isaac. We are every bit the children of God. Just as Isaac was a child of Abraham and Sarah, and Jesus himself was a child of Mary and Joseph. Isabella's Women's Bible Group recently studied Paul's letter to the Ephesians. In it, Paul repeatedly prays that we understand the glorious riches of our spiritual inheritance through the promised Messiah. Yes, Jesus, which was first foreshadowed to a faithful old couple more than 2,500 years ago. Hallelujah. Come on, let's just give God some praise. Let's thank him for our inheritance. Yes, somebody say, it is mine, my spiritual inheritance, my spiritual limit. Take ownership in it. Hallelujah. Lord, thank you for our inheritance. Oh, thank you, God. Come on, let's go to our scripture of consideration this morning. Isn't it good to know that you have an inheritance? Hallelujah. Those who are connected, those who love them. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, for our inheritance. Here we are. In Genesis 17, verse 19, it simply says, Then God said, Yes, but your wife, Sarah, will bear you a son. And you will call him Isaac. 
I will establish my covenant with him as an everlasting covenant for his descendants after him. Oh, thank you, Father. Here it is. Let's look at it. Look at it. Here it is. A conversation between God and Abraham, who was Abram now, Abraham. God said yes. Yes, in that conversation, God was speaking of blessing his lineage in God. And Abraham, Abraham at that time, of course, wanted to, he said, well, I pray for my other son. But God, God said, yes, I hear you. But, but your wife, Sarah, this is what he's trying to say. Your wife, Sarah, will bear you a son and you will call him Isaac. Can you imagine? Can you just imagine the look on, on Abraham's face? face. Abraham said to himself, I am 100 right now. My wife, Sarah, is 90. <laughs> uh, Abraham just laughed. He chuckled to himself. Not only did he laugh, but when he shared it with Sarah, she laughed. She laughed at the thought, both being old, both being out of the barren, the years of being able to bear children, at least so they thought. <laughs> they laughed, they laughed, but he said, I will establish my covenant with your son, Isaac. Hallelujah, that's what he said. An everlasting covenant for his descendants after him. Hallelujah. Just as he made that promise, all that that that. That, that committed to the agreement between he and Isaac, between he and Abraham, the covenant, just as that same covenant God has a covenant with us, with Jesus Christ, our lineage, our, our father, our, our intercessor. He says, I am making you children, my children. We are the children of God. Hallelujah. You ought to just claim it right now. Say, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for, for, for having me as your child, your son, or your daughter. And in that, we have a spiritual inheritance. Somebody say, I'm claiming my inheritance. I'm going to claim my inheritance. Yes, we have an inheritance in him. Hallelujah. We inherited all of the riches, all of the, the kingdom of heaven. If we just hang in there, if we just hold on just a little while longer, hallelujah. Lord, I thank you for loving on us enough to make us your, claim us as your children. Hallelujah. God, I thank you for this word right here. Hallelujah. Come on now, let's go to God in prayer. Here we are. Hallelujah. Most gracious God, our heavenly Father. Hallelujah, God. We thank you just for being able to say our heavenly Father, our Father in heaven. We bless your name today, God. We thank you today for loving on us, for choosing us to be your children, your sons and your daughters, God. For caring for us. God, for sending your son Jesus that we, God, that we might have that connection. Hallelujah, God. That we, God, would have that lineage. We thank you today for indeed, God, he gave his life that we might be saved, that we might, hallelujah, be your children, your sons and daughters. We thank you today for that, God. We bless your name, God. We can't thank you enough for loving on us so much that you sent your son. So, God, we bless you. God, we today commit that we are going to hold firm to the agreement, the covenant that you have with us. God, we are trusting and believing in you. We're holding on to your word. What, for we know your word is true. Everything in you is yea and amen. You cannot lie. So God, we trust you. We love you. And we thank you today. Today, we, we welcome and, and, and look forward to our inheritance. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, today. We ask you, God, to bless all those that are viewing today, that will view today. Bless their families, God. Bless their friends today, God. All of those who have not yet made that commitment, God, who have not accepted you today. God, we're praying that today, after hearing this devotion, God, that they will come to know you even the more. God, that they will, will accept you into their lives. Hallelujah. That they may become your sons and daughters. God, we just thank you right now. We're claiming right now, God, the victory right now in their lives. Heavenly Father, we ask today that as we go throughout this day, that you will keep us safe from all hurt, harm, and danger. 
God, keep us and allow us today to be that beacon light to all that we come across today. That as we live our life, God, they will see you in us and be attracted to you. So we thank you, Lord. We, we bless your name on today. Do it for your glory and for your honor. And now, God, we ask you, keep us that we may be kept. Bless us today that we may be more of a blessing, God, to someone else. Do it for your glory, Heavenly Father. Glory and for your honor. In Jesus' precious name we pray. And everybody, everybody said amen and amen. Come on, give God some praise. Thank him. I mean really thank him this morning. Thank him for your inheritance. Thank him for choosing you, for loving on you enough to have an inheritance set aside just for you. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you for this word on today. Hallelujah. I trust and pray that indeed this was a blessing to you. If it was a blessing, share it today. Share it with someone else. For others need to know today that they, that they through Christ Jesus have an inheritance. They just need to open up their hearts, accept him into their lives, and then, of course, walk in that path. So share this word on today. As a matter of fact, I'd love for you to just ponder your glorious spiritual inheritance by, by pray, praying Ephesians 1 verses 15 through 20 and Ephesians 3 verses 14 and 24. And pray for yourself. Hallelujah. Well, I am Reverend Davis, executive pastor here at First Baptist Church South Hill, our senior pastor. It's Pastor Michael R. Tolliver. And again, we're just so blessed. We're so delighted and happy today that we've had this moment of sharing, of coming to you on today. Thank you for being here with us. You could have been anywhere else in this busy, busy world. But today, you are here with us. We don't take it lightly. We pray blessings upon your life. Hallelujah. Well, I ask you now, tune in with us. Tune in with us again on tomorrow. Tune in at 8 a.m. on my page, 8.30 a.m. on First Baptist Church South Hills page. We trust, we pray, we know that you will be blessed for having done so. Please know today that I love you, but God, God loves you best. Have a wonderful day in the Lord.